Sometimes it's just taking the rein a little shorter. It can be a little bump with them, you know, at them with the contact. And what you might feel at first is you go to ride them up an inch, and, you know, you'd look at a video or glance in the mirror and go, well, now his nose is out too far, or he's not on the bit enough. 
But if he drops down an inch, he doesn't actually flex more in the pull. But as he drops down, the nose ends up looking like it comes more in. It looks rounder, but it hasn't changed the relationship to the hand for the better. It's kind of like, you know, if I take my two hands like this and I make this 90 degree angle, where my fingers meet would be the pole. My elbow would be his nose. And if I have the pole up high, his nose is sticking out. If I drop the neck down, now his face looks like it's on the vertical, but the pole hasn't flexed at all. That 90 degree angle didn't change. So if they get a little low, like I said, they kind of just give us that false positive, but we don't generate elastic connection through that. So definitely that's a good thing. Keeping them just that littlest bit high. If you feel as he comes up there, he gets a little stiff in the jaw, which is normal. That's not abnormal to hit that feeling. And if he feels a little that way, just a lot of play, fingers and wrists, you know, kind of going, I'm going to move the bit around. I'm just going to work you that. I get you soft feeling or softer feeling in the jaw. If you want to brace a little bit as you're coming up. Nice. Good. Good. I think that's also important, that little bit of lift up like that through the pole or keeping the pole a little up for one where the hind leg is a little bit longer like that. And he's not an extreme case of that at all. But I just want to keep encouraging that upward lift of the shoulder or helping through lifting the pole up. I can change the base of neck angle right at the shoulder so that I actually encourage the front leg to lift high. So it kind of helps give the forehand some elevation and counteract that little very mild downhill lean in the body. Nice. That's really good there in the balance. Good. Super. And I wouldn't power that up any more than that, right? I know he has those moments that kind of gives a little surge here and there. But just feel like the power level is good. I want him energetic like that. I just go, don't let the forehand to the front legs trot away or flee the hind leg. You're kind of saying to him, I don't want that feeling of, you know, your hind legs creating propulsion the way a basketball player's wrist flicks and sends the ball flying. I don't want your hind legs sending your forehand forward like that. I want some engine. I want your hind legs propelling you. I just don't want that basketball actually leaving your hand if you're a basketball player. I don't want you to get on, bend your knees, get on your toes, flick your wrist and jump. Good. Nice. Go lower than that in the pole. 